We are just packing up the tent and then Ollie saw something moving and here's a little mini mini baby scorpion. And you can't even see it properly, you know, when you, I'm not pointing at it. <laughs> wow, he's really, really small. Where is he? There he is. I'm trying to get him with the... Hello. 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 Oh, he's moving. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Macro scorpion. Super wow. Cute. To be fair, that's probably a venomous scorpion. And I think we should probably not get too close. morning world welcome back to the channel it's day number 388 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle good morning bumblebee good morning bumblebee <laughs> we're here in baja california in mexico and we're surrounded by a billion cactuses and <laughs> other crazy trees like this one which i've never ever ever seen anything like in my life yeah, the landscape here is just mind-blowing, really. You feel like you're on Mars or somewhere else. Yeah, it's like a real-life botanical garden out here. It's insane. But actually, it should have been a really comfortable night, but I didn't sleep that well because every time a truck or a car was coming past on the highway, which is only about 100 meters ahead of us, I was always thinking that they were going to like pull up here, come and, I don't know, mess with us or tell us off or the police coming or something. I don't know, I was just a little bit paranoid last night and I kept like kept like waking up every time a truck came past. Well, I was sleeping with earplugs, so my night was actually quite all right. Yeah, because I was on lookout, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> the whole night, eh? I was watching out for us and Bumblebee. <laughs> but it is our last big ride in Mexico today, so let me show you guys where we're headed. So we are here and today we're gonna to be continuing our way up the Baja California Peninsula turning off of the one here at Chapala to the Gulf of California side, continuing up there and then cutting across on the three to the town of Ensenada. Yes, it will be a long, long ride today. Google Maps estimate six hours and it's already eight o'clock. So better hit the road, let's go. I just wanted to take you guys on a little walk around this morning. Just look at this crazy place. Look at this tree. It's got like thorns and tiny little leaves growing. Never seen anything like it. And then you've got so many different species of cactuses. You've got this crazy little one here. And then the biggest cactuses I've ever seen in my whole life. Look at this. Look at this cactus. It's like, these must be about, I don't know, 10 meters tall. I really, I'm not a good judge of meters, but really that is absolutely massive. And there's so many of them around as well. I don't know what it is about this place particularly, but, but this just seems to be the place that the cactuses love. <laughs> bit soft <sighs> really what a crazy place to spend the night I mean it really is like another planet so we've gone back to the jackets this morning after like ages since the last time we wore these jackets hey I think it was like somewhere in Peru it's pretty cold we're on the uh, Pacific side of the Baja California Peninsula yes. and on the Pacific side it's like 10 degrees colder yeah. than on the inland side on the yeah. Gulf of California side yeah. and it's like I mean what's the bike registering at the moment the bike is saying Suzuki 15 <laughs> degrees wow. yeah 15 degrees is definitely not just t-shirt riding weather no. no so we're gonna wear the jackets to start off with we are on the Pacific side for now then we head into the inland side and we will be a good chunk for today in the inland side actually going up but then we cross back over yeah so we'll be cold hot cold cold hot cold yes. I can't wait yes. <laughs> oh yeah
We're ready for ya. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's hit the road. All right. Goodbye, most beautiful camp. And thank you, Cactuses, for your company. Yeah, wow. I don't think we will ever stay in a place like that again. I mean, what a unique place to spend the night. I've never, ever seen a place like that in my life. I mean, this is like one of those unique places in the world, hey? Like, just one of these places that are just like, like nowhere else and like another planet. Yeah, amazing. So we stopped here because I thought on the map there was a petrol station because it says Pemex but actually it's just this truck which says gasolina and I think they've got like uh, like fuel cans in the back. Hola, Hola buenas. Uh, para, para 100? 100 pesos? 100 pesos? <coughs> sí. Or... Uh, no, norte. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Aquí? Yeah, okay, okay. So it's How like, far is that? That's, um, it's like a 100 Cien, Cien kilometer. Okay, should we go there? I think so. I Let think me see so. where we are. Okay, un momento. We're about 120 miles and this is 560 miles. Okay. Okay, perfect. Gracias, gracias. Okay, gracias. So we're not really sure if the guy had any fuel for us in the end, but he said that there's a petrol station which is about 60 miles up ahead. So as long as that petrol station exists, then uh, we should be all good. <laughs> Look how open and wild this place is. It's absolutely crazy. There's like no development here, no houses, no warehouses, no industry. It's just cactuses. That is pretty awesome. It's like Patagonia with cactuses. Wow, but it's 12 degrees at the moment. Yeah, I can't wait to go back to the inlet side. Yeah. <laughs> Have 30 degrees and being sweaty. <laughs> Does it have fuel? It looks real. Let's see. I mean, that looks pretty good, but there's no person. <laughs> but I see there's a door open, so <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a fella. Oh, there's yeah. a fella. And he's moving. Hola. Hola, buenas. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? Bien, yeah, muy bien. Muy bien. Go, only come on and go. Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yo no voy a ningún lado. Dormir, comer, uh -huh. trabajar. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, beautiful, Mo much bonito uh, aquí, eh? Yeah. Bonito. yeah. Cuando. Relax. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Voy con la caña. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. Gracias. Chao. Adios. Adios. So that must have been a pretty thin part of the peninsula because we have already reached the other side, the Gulf of California and it's 25 degrees now. So it's gone up by 13 degrees. That's why we've chosen to ride on this side of the island because there's yeah. actually two roads we could have taken up to Ensenada. There was the one which runs along the Pacific side and there was the five and then turning off to the three. And uh, we kind of chose this side specifically because it is a warmer side. So it's just going to be a lot more of a pleasant ride. And uh, it is pretty ple pleasant right now. So I'm happy. Yeah, me too. It's 
So we just came off the highway to have a little break and we're just seeing if we can get down to the water to have a nice spot for a nice taco or sandwich. Taco or sandwich? Mm, Both. Not quite sure. If it's like our proper lunch, then taco. If it's just a snack break, then... Um... Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go round here, shall we? Where's this going? Yeah. Sort of a little hut here. I don't know if somebody's here, but... I think we'll just go up here and park up. Yeah, just off the beach. Nice. Cool. Yeah, let's check it out. Cool. Let's see if we can spot some whales. Wow, that is a beautiful bit of coastline. Wow. And this big rock there in front of us. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, wow. Some sort of trilobite. It looks like he has been on this planet for quite a while. Yeah, there are fossils literally that look exactly like this fella. Wow, nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nice lunch with the view. I'm so impressed with this peninsula because it looks so different all the time. Yeah, I mean, now we're in like this crazy rocky coastal thing going on. The landscape on this peninsula has changed like a thousand times and each time it's just so surprising and so impressive. I mean, look at this. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're just coming up to the town of San Felipe. Wow, look how many pelicans here are. Are those all pelicans? Yes. Wow, cool. Look, they're all flying there. With their long peaks. Oh, Beautiful. they look so funny. Bienvenido a San Felipe. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. All right, so we've got ourselves filled up and that should take us all the way to the end of the day to Ensenada. Ensenada or Enchilada? <laughs> so we have about 155 miles left, which is about three hours. We will cross again the peninsula here, so it should be a quite nice ride, hopefully. I'm excited to see some cactuses again. Oh my god, there's some lizards! No! Jeez! I yeah, didn't even squish them. Three, three lizards! Yeah, they were like, all right, it's safe, guys, let's go! <laughs> It absolutely wasn't safe. No. I'm so glad they all didn't just dart out at the oh, last minute. Yeah. We didn't squish a single lizard. In fact, I would be almost sure we haven't squished a whole lizard since we started this trip. Yeah. I, I don't mean a whole lizard. I mean, we haven't squished any part of a lizard since we started this trip. Oh, look, there's the military. So we should have one awesome last stretch before leaving Mexico and that is this in front one last time over the mountains to get over to I keep wanting to say ensalada now <laughs> ensalada ensalada just means salad over to salad town yes I would like to eat some salad <laughs> well I heard that's the place to get it <laughs>
So we're just stopping for our last break of the day. We have done 257 miles and uh, we've got about 70, 80 miles to go until we reach Ensenada. Yes. Still absolutely beautiful around. Look at this. I mean, not here. There's a ton of rubbish here at this little lay-by. I don't know how we managed to stop at the rubbish lay-by, but anyway, still a beautiful landscape all around. But come and have a look at this. This is what we're having to deal with on the road at the moment. Look at these potholes. And there's a lot of them as well. So we've just been sort of snaking our way, trying to avoid this. But yeah, having to go a little bit more careful. I'm always just really scared that we damage the rim. Yeah. You know, because sometimes it's like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the suspension is very, very bouncy, but it's okay. So yeah, we're just having our last break here. We've got some beautiful bean mayonnaise, avocado, pepper and hot sauce sandwiches. Because exactly. we ran out of tortillas, so now we're just making sandwich tortillas. It's currently nearly four o'clock. Yeah. So yeah, we've got to eat these sandwiches and make a move. Because tomorrow we've got to get an early start because it's a very important day. Because it's the day we're going to try and cross the border into the US. Exactly. And we have to look nice and fresh and organized. Yeah because we are actually not organized because we have actually one paper missing and we are hoping that they just wave us through so we have to show us tomorrow from our best side yeah we were we still haven't received that letter from the environmental protection agency that is apparently required to cross the border yes. um, but like we said in a previous episode we decided that we're just going to go for it we've chosen to go to a smaller border than the main border in Tijuana the border we're going to is called Tecate yes. so um, yeah we definitely need to get a good night tonight so that we can be super fresh, super on it, and we'll get through. Exactly. Oh look, there's actually trees here. Wow, totally different landscape. It's like the final surprise for Baja. Yeah. It's like, hey guys, here you go. Uh -huh. I'll leave you with some green rolling hills and forest. Thanks, Baja. Ensenada! Yes! Yes, 321 miles later. Crazy stuff. Yeah, it's been a lot of big rides and I am knackered. <laughs> yeah, and because of that, I actually just... Oh, something going on here? Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah. So I actually just checked on booking.com and there was a room available. It said actually no parking, but I checked the pictures and the comments and people said, oh, safe parking here. So this room cost 25 pounds and has really good reviews, like the best reviews ever. And apparently free breakfast as well. So we were like, okay, let's take the room. Let's have a really good rest tonight to calm down, to prepare a little bit for tomorrow and yeah, maybe even take a shower. <laughs> oh my God, could we be so lucky? <laughs> well, it's worth it for the free breakfast because this will be our last Mexican breakfast. Last time we'll ever be offered tacos for breakfast. Aww. Assuming we are going to be offered tacos for breakfast. I'll be really <laughs> disappointed if they're like, oh, here's the American breakfast. And I'm like, well, we're going to have that when we get to America. No, I want them to give us all the traditional toppings, all of the beans, all of the avocado. I want some guacamole. It was a beautiful end to the Baja Peninsula, that last little ride down from the mountains. And uh, I've just been blown away by this whole peninsula. It's really like made Mexico for me. Yeah, wow. Favorite. Absolutely favorite. Yeah, one of the coolest sections of riding we've done since like of the whole trip. For sure. For sure.
So anyway, a couple, uh, couple more miles and we should be there at this hotel and have a really, really nice last night in Mexico. Yes. Hotel Rose. Wee! Wee! Fantastic. All right. <laughs> okay, who's gonna tell Bumblebee the bedtime story tonight? Your Is it my turn? Okay. <laughs> Sweetheart, that's just Bumblebee's name. Bumblebee speaks motorbike. <laughs> no, you'll give you'll give her nightmares. Come on then, let's do it. <sighs> oh my god. Oh yeah, look at this. From all rooms here in Mexico, I think this is like really high up there. This is one of our best rooms. Okay, the air conditioning looks broken actually, but anyway, <laughs> it's nice. It's actually quite cool here by the coast anyway, right? Exactly. So I think we don't even need an AC. Yeah, so I'm really no. happy with that. Perfect. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.